This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we auto save some function in the simulator. This is the code you need to uh, put it in a MATLAB script first. Okay, so I create my auto save function and I call it my data and then I, I say like, okay, save data is equal to data um, and save data dot time is equal to the current time. This is something I put it in. Okay, now after you copy the code and then you open your simmering model. I have this simple simmering model. Now instead of a squad, I will put a workspace to workspace block at in the output. Okay, currently the to workspace block, the function name is called sim out. Sim out. So that is the input name into the function. Okay, okay, now it may not be clear at this time, but you will understand what I'm going to do in the next step. Go to file, model property, go to the stop function, take my same function, which is the function, the M script we, use, we create, and then the simulating block output name sim out. Now, I can control B to build a program. This part is not necessary unless you are using a real-time window workshop which like measure real-time data. If you are just using a regular simmering, you can just click one and then it will do the task. Okay, now I try to measure some data and then store it. Okay, I stop it. Oops, it come up with an error, with an error. It's saying my path has some problem. Let's go back to the M script to see what's going on. Oh, yes. You see my path, I need to use a lead to P instead of a big P. Okay, so that's okay. We make the correction. Now, I do the data correction again. Look at the final. The file here, in here, it create a file. This file is the autosave file by our M script. So if we go to, if we double click the file, go to save data, you can see there is Save data under save data there is structure my data and time. And in my data under my data there is signals.